In 2011, my mom is dying of a horrible disease called pulmonary fibrosis. Someone has three months to live, basically. She never told me, unfortunately. And three months before she dies, she, in a suitcase, she gives me all the work that I had done back in 1978. This is 33 years later. She had saved all of the copyright notices, all of that. And I never, I had forgotten about it. And a friend of mine who's a professor at um, Emerson, he said, oh my God, you invented email. Why didn't you talk about this? So he invented, uh, he invited uh, Doug Ameth, who's the senior technology editor at Time. And Doug is the only journalist who went through and goes, wow, you invented email. And then a few, three months later, um, uh, the Washington, uh, I was invited to the Smithsonian um, honored at the Smithsonian, which is the number one museum in the world, the National Museum of American History, where all of this was accepted. So 33 years later, the museum that wanted all this, and a young reporter writes this article. Remember, I'm teaching a class at MIT. I'm running CEO of a company, right? The most popular class at MIT. I've won all these awards at MIT. This article comes out honoring me is finally 33 years later as inventor of email. Now you would think this should be an occasion for celebration, right? What happens? Articles like this come out calling me an asshole, a dick, an imposter. And people like this write blogs saying that I should be hanged, beaten. This Indian should be beaten. How dare he say he invented email? So this is not in 1952, this is in 2012. And it's not, I have all my degrees, I've won every award at MIT. Why? Why is this happening? All right. And the newspaper that put out all these articles was called Gawker Media, G-A-W-K-E-R Media. Um, and so overnight I'm being defamed all over the press, right? All my degrees didn't mean anything. And I never even wanted any of this fame. So why is this happening? So I had to recognize that. Um, uh, and by the way, when you unravel this, you find out this organization of elites, historians, had already written the theory of who invented email. And they had given the credit to this company called Raytheon and this guy who looks like a nerd, okay? Because for the 33 years I didn't promote myself, in 2007, this defense company, by the way, many of the defense companies were losing money, not selling missiles. So they had gone into the cybersecurity surveillance industry, right? All the defense companies. And so they had rebranded themselves, this company. They found this guy, Ray Tomlinson, who didn't invent email. All he did, and he admits he only did 15 minutes of work to attach text to a bottom of a remote file. It, at best, it was the early version of Facebook or the early version of what's Reddit even, okay? Not email. But they had, and he had used the at symbol like you use in Twitter, and they said, oh, this guy's the inventor of email. Why? Because they wanted to get government contracts. So when my stuff went into the Smithsonian, I was affecting their $37 billion brand. You guys get it? Because if I'm the true inventor of email, it affects their marketing program. All right? So they're the ones with this elite historian, with the media, had attacked me. All right? So it was uh, quite an interesting thing because thousands of calls are coming into MIT saying, this guy's a fraud. He should be fired. Remember, at MIT, I was their hero front page for inventing many things. But I realized, wait a minute, I invented email before I came to this elite institution. It was done in a small medical college in Newark, New Jersey by a 14-year-old kid. It wasn't done at MIT. 